Hi and welcome to Pilates by Cats. Today I've got a full body toning workout for you. So let's get your mats and get started. We're going to face the side, legs long. Sitting up nice and tall, if you need to have a bend in the knees for neutral spine, feel free to do so. We'll bring the hands behind the head. Take a deep inhale. On the exhale, tuck the pelvis, round back, find a low C curve. Inhale, roll back up to your so exhale, tuck the pelvis, round your back, find that secret hollow belly. Inhale, roll back and through. Exhale, back, ribs pull together. Inhale, come right back. At your own pace. So make sure that core is really turning on. You're pulling those ribs together. Let's do two more here. So you're going to roll back and rotate, opening to one side, and have come back to center. Alternating sides, other side, you go back and down, and back. Opening out to that one side, pulling that shoulder back, and have back to center. So you're still trying to get that hollow belly round position. You can also do this with bent knees and feet flat if that feels better on your body. Let's do two more sets. Feel those obliques turning on. One more on each side. I'm just going to bend with one knee, so I'm going to bend my right knee. I'm going to rotate back and down to my right side. And as I come up, I'm going to pull that left knee to my right shoulder. So I'm going to go down and back, up and rotate. So it's like a little, almost a bicycle crunch. Opening to that opposite side and pulling up into that knee. Last one here. And let's switch sides. So let's set my right leg now and rotate back and down to my left side and come up and rotate to that right knee. Back and down, up and rotate. Two more. Last one here. All the way up, both feet down. Let's walk forward on our mat so that we can lie down on our backs and get our arms out. Slowly rounding all the way down onto my back. Let's extend the legs long. I'm going to take my left arm out to a letter T position and bring my right leg behind the head. So kind of sticking with this oblique theme. I'm going to use that left hand. I'm going to push down into that arm as I push myself up and over, crossing that right elbow to that left knee, and then all the way down and back. So I'm really pushing to that left arm to get you up and over and slowly down. So really similar to what we were just doing in a seated position, bringing that opposite shoulder to me. Pushing into that arm, exhale up, inhale down. Use your breath. Last one here. And we'll switch sides. So now that right arm goes out, left hand behind the head. Now push into that right arm as you bring the left shoulder to the right knee. And slowly down.
and hug those knees into the chest, rocking side to side. Let's take both legs straight up to the sky. Straight legs or a slight bend in the knees, which I'm going to do here for my tight hamstring. Both arms down by the sides. We're going to have an imprinted spine, so that means no space between the low back and your mat. On the inhale, let's lower the legs down, but only as far as you can keep that low back touching the mat. And then exhale, use the low belly to pull the legs back up to vertical. So we inhale, lower. And exhale, lift. So it's not about how far those legs go. It's about maintaining that really nice core connection, keeping that low back touching the mat. Take your time. Try not to use momentum. down as far as you can hold your imprint. We'll hold those legs long. We're going to open them out and close. Open and close. If you feel that low back coming off, just take those legs higher to the sky. For two. Last one. Legs come up and hug the knees into the chest. The last one in this series, we're going to take those legs back up to the sky. We're going to crisscross the legs as we lower them down. So one leg over and switch as we lower down. And back up. So we go down as we cross. And up as we cross. Still maintaining that nice strong imprint. We'll inhale as you lower, and exhale as you come up. Nice long breaths. Last one, here we go, down, and up, and then we have the knees into the chest, give a little rock. Both feet come flat onto the mat, arms are by the sides, Knees are hip distance apart and feet are right under the knees. We'll take a deep inhale. On the exhale, press the feet to roll the hips to the sky, find that shoulder bridge position. Inhale here. On the exhale, slowly articulate the spine down one vertebrae at a time, reaching through the spine, release to neutral at the bottom. Inhale. Exhale, press into the feet, roll the hips to the sky, one long line, shoulder to knee, inhale at the top. And exhale, slowly roll down. So just taking this at your own pace. You really want to feel those glutes and hamstrings turning on as you lift the hips. And then get that nice massage through your spine and you slowly roll down. And all the way back up. Inhale to the top. Exhale, nice and slow. Let's take this next one to the top and hold. So we'll roll those hips all the way up. Hold it here, keeping the hips lifted and level. You lift that left leg straight up to the sky. We'll lower it down just in line with that right knee and lift it back up. So we lower and lift. Try not to let that left hip drop. Really pressing up through that right glute and hamstring to keep the hips lifted and level. Two more. Last one up, bend the knee, that foot comes down. Give those hips a nice big lift again, right leg up to the sky. We lower it down in line with the left knee and back up. So again, really trying to keep those hips level. Push up through that left foot. Turning on that glute and hamstring. For two. Last one here, lift, bend the knee, that foot comes down, hips are high, slowly articulate the spine down. From here, let's just roll right over onto our stomach. 
Forehead goes down into the mat. Hands are right by the shoulders. We'll take a nice deep inhale. On the exhale, roll the shoulders back. Lift the chest, lift the legs, just come to that hover. And slowly lower down. So we exhale, lift. Upper body, lower body. And then lower down. So that pubic bone is pressing into the mat. The belly button is pulling off of the mat. We're reaching long through the crown of the head and long through the toes to get that nice lift. Really nice to do some back of the body work right after you do all that core work. Just balancing everything out. Reach and lower down. Make sure you're really opening up the front of the shoulders. Pulling those shoulder blades back and together to lift the chest. Your gaze is looking just two inches in front of you. And the last one here, lift. Slowly lower it down, push up through the hands to push back into a child's pose. Let's roll up and come to a side lying position. On our side, so you can either be lying all the way down or up on your forearm like I am here. I'm going to take that top leg, bend the knee, and bring the foot in front of my bottom leg. I'm really pushing up through that bottom shoulder, the ribs are closing. Now that bottom leg reaching through the toes. We lift and lower. Lift and lower. So you're using that inner thigh to lift that leg. Think about reaching long through the toes. Again, pushing up through that bottom shoulder so you're not sinking down. Let's do two more. The last one here, lower down, you're gonna keep that bottom leg long. The top foot comes right above your bottom knee. So you have this nice shape here with that leg, and the whole shape is gonna lift up and down. And down and then think about lifting and reaching, reaching along through that bottom leg. So you just added a little extra weight to that exercise you just did before this. For two, the last one, lower down. We're gonna bend both knees here so you're almost in that little clam position. I'm gonna take that top knee, it's gonna tap in front of your bottom knee. And then reach back behind you, flex the foot. So you come forward, bend the knee, tap, reach back and flex the foot. So we tap and reach, tap and reach. So we're getting a little rotation through that top leg so you can really turn on that glute. And then by reaching through the heel, we get more into the back of the leg. Here. Last one. Bring that leg right in line with your shoulder. We'll just show a little circle forward, down, and around. And reverse. We go back, down, and around. Third, two, one, and lower. Now let's just switch to the other side. So setting up on the other side, just like we did on the last side, we'll take that top foot, bend the knee, and bring it in front of our bottom leg. We're gonna reach through that bottom leg to lift and lower. Again, thinking about lengthening through that leg. Pushing up through that bottom shoulder again, pulling the ribs off the floor. two. Last one, lower. Take that top foot right above the bottom knee. So we make that nice shape that we lift and lower. So now that whole shape is lifting up and down. You just added a little weight to that bottom leg. A little more challenging. Last one, let's bend both knees, stack them up. We 
take that top knee, tap it in front of your bottom knee, and then reach back, flex the foot. So we bend and tap, and reach. Bend and reach. So we get that nice internal rotation as we tap, and then we're reaching through the heel to turn on the back of the leg. Are we breathing? Inhale, exhale, reach. For two. The last one, reach. Bring that leg in line with the hip. Just draw a little circle forward, down, and around. Try to keep those hips as stable as possible. And reverse. We go back, down, and around. Two, one, and lower. Let's roll onto our back, start with the figure four stretch. So on your back, take the right ankle over the left knee, dorsiflex the ankle, pull that left thigh in towards you for a nice figure four stretch. Then that stretch on the outer hip, the glute region, which we just worked, should feel really nice. Deep breath in. And a long exhale out. Switching sides, that left ankle goes across the right knee, dorsal flex the ankle, right leg points in towards you. So here four with that left leg. And then take a deep breath in through the nose. And a long exhale out. Let's come onto our forearms, pushing up through those shoulders. Try not to collapse into those shoulders, so really push up through the shoulders. Close the ribs so the core is engaged. We'll bring one leg to tabletop and then the other. So keeping those legs glued together, you're gonna swivel those knees over to one side, exhale, bring them through center, and then back over to the other side. Exhale through center. So we inhale and exhale. Inhale side, exhale back. So that opposite hip is going to be lifting off of the mat. And then you're using your obliques to bring the knees back through center. Okay, still pushing up through those shoulders, or have we forgot about that? Double check. One more each side. Back to center, one leg presses out and switch. So it's just a little bicycle. Still pushing up through those shoulders, closing the ribs. Last set. One foot down, and then the other. Let's sit up and just roll over to all fours. From all fours, let's take that right leg, extend it back, trying to keep the hips level here. We'll bend the knee, flex the foot, and put a footprint on the ceiling. So we press up to the sky. Press, press, press. Pushing up through the shoulders, pulling the ribs off the floor. Lower that knee towards the mat, open it up to the side for a fire hydrant. So working the back of the body here, glutes and hamstrings. For two, last one, send that leg out, straight leg lift, lower. Strong core here so that you're not working into the low back. Last one, lift. Tap that leg behind you and across the body, back up to parallel. So it goes across and up, across and up. Two. Last one, lift. 
Bend the knee, lower it down. We'll just switch sides. So bending that left knee, flexing the foot. Footprint right on the ceiling. Still pushing up through those shoulders, lifting those ribs off the floor. Try to keep those hips as level as you can. Lower that knee down towards the floor, open it out to the side, fire hydrant. Last one, send that leg out straight. We lift and lower, lift and lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Lift and hold, tap across and behind, back up, across behind, and back.